All right, forget the crowbar. Thieves up the ante to try to steal an entire ATM downriver. Take a look. They used a giant excavator to do their heavy lifting, and they tried to rip the machine from the ground. They definitely did some damage to the Chase Bank ATM here in Brownstown Township, but they ran into some roadblocks. Our new 7 Action News anchor, Mike Duffy, went out there today and explains what kept the criminals from getting their hands on any cash. Okay, what's missing from this picture? Well, prior to this weekend, there were ATMs standing just here. Thieves came through these woods with an excavator. The attempted robbery happened Saturday morning in the Chase Bank parking lot on King and Allen Roads in Brownstown Township. Police were notified when security cameras caught a scene like this. They actually saw an, an excavator trying to get their ATM um, loose or steal it uh, and break into it basically. Police say the suspects took off in a stolen white pickup truck heading north on I-75 with police giving chase. But the suspects were eventually able to get away after splitting up on foot. The uh, suspects were described as two younger middle 20s uh, Hispanic males. Uh, they were wearing all black, but we do have some video um, that we're working on. Uh, as well as witnesses that saw them when they fled the, the pickup truck. Lieutenant Starzik doesn't think this was a crime of opportunity. I think it's unrealistic to think that people were just driving around to look for an excavator to then break into an ATM. Jamie Petrie told me she showed up to the bank Monday hoping to make an ATM deposit for her son. What do you think when the ATM wasn't here? I was wondering what happened to it because like the whole thing was gone. She says it's a sign of the times. I mean, gas prices, grocery prices people are desperate. I was also able to speak with Rick Cox, the superintendent of Campo Brothers, the company whose excavator was stolen. If we would have known the guy knew how to operate the machine, we'd give you a job and you wouldn't have to go through stealing things or taking other people's things. He explained to me that not just anyone would know how to operate such machinery. Would I be able to drive something like that? Not just by climbing in it, no. You'd, it would take a while for you to figure out how to operate it. Craig Hammond was also surprised such a thing could happen so close to where he lives. You know, I can't believe that something like that would go on in, in Woodhaven. And they still haven't caught the people who did it. What do you think about that? Well, I'm sure it's only just a matter of time. Fortunately, that excavator is back safe and sound tonight, but police still want to know who did this. In Brownstown, Mike Duffy, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, and welcome to Channel 7.